Press the bell icon on YouTube app and subscribe to our channel Health and Environment Times for more videos. Okay. Hello and welcome to this brand new episode. You are watching HE Times. We have with us today Mr. Suman Parimal and we are going to talk about artificial intelligence. So welcome Mr. Parimal to our show. Let me introduce him. Mr. Parimal is a thought leader in artificial intelligence and innovation led economy. He has been a the chief analyst at Five Jewel Research, which tracks and predicts tech market trends and emerging disruptions. He has worked in uh, global markets, so ranging from Europe to America to India, uh, almost everywhere. Uh, recently, he has been featured in the uh, top most thought leader in Forbes Artificial Intelligence Global Expert Panel. So, congratulations, Mr. Suman so Parmal, and welcome you. to our Thank show. You. So, uh, first of all, before we start with the, our talk on artificial intelligence, uh, I believe that uh, artificial intelligence has become a buzzword. I mean, but uh, there are very few people who really understand artificial intelligence and the potential that it carries and the market disruptions, of course, that uh, it will bring with us. So, can you for us uh, explain us uh, in brief what it artificial intelligence is? actually is. Sure, sure. First, I'd like to thank you, HE Times, for giving this opportunity to come to their show and uh, having discussing the artificial intelligence uh, topic today in this uh, particular uh, telecast. And uh, I, I, I see it, it's, it's just not a buzzword. It's actually a future, you know, the artificial intelligence, AI, we call it in short. Actually, the future, the future which is going to uh, derive next five year, ten year down the line, uh, it, it's going to empower the people, it's going to empower the society, it's going to empower the families, it's going to empower the childrens, it's going to empower businesses, it's going to empower traders, and it's going to empower even animals. It's going to empower our earth. So I will see. Uh, it is going to blend with the the day to day living of our human being. Like the mobile has been blended today uh, with the day to day living of the human being. So so I think we we are moving beyond the buzzword in AI. Now we are seeing many <coughs> realistic application, uh, many huge cases we are seeing, and 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 lot of uh, innovations have been appeared in 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 the in the AI space. Mm -hmm. So uh, let us talk about uh, the award uh, uh, you have been featured in the top most leaders in the Forbes AI Global Express panel. So can you just tell us about the panel? Yeah, how, you know, how, the, how, how, how does it work? Yeah, you know the Forbes is a global uh, reputed uh, uh, thought leaders in magazine, mm -hmm. and uh, as a thought leader uh, in tech led innovations and uh, 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 the disruptive economy and artificial intelligence, I was fortunate enough to be invited by a uh, force to join their uh, this focus group discussion of uh, AI experts across the globe uh, participating in online mode and uh, this is the great opportunity to uh, come and having the experience with uh, you know the various profiled experts and uh, uh, this is the like uh, uh, the brainstorming sessions we are conducting online mode and we are picking up different different uh, uh, the innovative innovation concepts and how the AI technology is going to impact the human being in next two year, three year, five year, six year. So, so these thought leadership only will decide the next generation of the AI technology and in the next generation of the human growth, the next generation of our economical development. So, these are the seeds of further innovations. So, when I say feature topmost. It's, it's going to be a great achievement and great recognition for me because uh, uh, there are only few people who generally influence yeah. uh, the mm -hmm. entire ecosystem. Yeah, so definitely I, uh, I believe that it's been, it's been a great learning experience for you as well, having interacted with best of minds working in this uh, uh, field. So the other day I was listening to uh, great leaders like Elon Musk, Warren Buffett and even Bill Gates. So uh, these people were of the opinion that artificial intelligence is, is going to be a greater innovation, uh, even greater than personal computers and mobile you see. So uh, at one hand you see a, a kind of hype or do you think that this is reality? In fact, uh, see the mobile story is now uh, getting a further boost 
with the uh, AI AI story. So uh, you know, even you have an iPhone, you have a CD, and you have in 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 Android, you have the Google uh, mm -hmm. Assistant. So these these are all the AI AI apps which are inbuilt in these mobile phones. So mm -hmm. I think we should not uh, uh, segregate the technology like mobility or IoT or you say cloud computing from uh, the emerging technology like AI or blockchain. Yeah, as, a, as, a, as a thought leader, I see that any industry or any 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 startup who are planning to enter into technology market, they should actually think in the converge view. So converging mm -hmm. all these technologies, you know, mm -hmm. we can't say that uh, mobile was the previous hype and AI the next hype. In fact, uh, hype is uh, all these hypes need to work collaboratively, you know, yeah, yeah. to give a sustainable output and augment the human being and the economy, right? So basically you are saying that it's not a hype, it's, it's a reality and uh, this reality is very much going to happen. So if this is a reality, you know, uh, whatever greater inventions has been till that all have caused some kind of disruptions, okay? The status quo is disturbed and a new model is developed and therefore there there is some kind of inconvenience that happens. So, what disruptions do you think? See, there are debate going on. A group is saying this is going to be a disruption. The other is saying, no, it is not going to disrupt. It's going to complement the human efforts. So what is your opinion on that? If, if, if it is a dis uh, disruption at all, then how big a disruption it would be? See, disruptions are sometimes required. Sometimes it is, it is essential for uh, taking the, uh, the social growth and economical growth to the next level, right? If, if, if like uh, uh, our generation people like uh, uh, if we, 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 we love to be remained in the same generation mm -hmm. then uh, this internet and uh, the mobility revolution you know could have not seen right mm -hmm. so we also accepted change the way we worked you know I, 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 I was uh, I, I was in, entering into career when the internet was just introduced you know and, and when I was a student there was no concept of mobile, mm -hmm. but we accepted it, right? Mm -hmm. We accepted even internet also. Initially, there were a lot of apprehension about computerization also. I, I remember the day when I started as uh, IT, IT mm -hmm. professional in my initial career. Mm -hmm. And there was a day when uh, people were so much afraid about losing their job. Yeah. When, when, when the computer used to arrive in our control rooms and mm -hmm. automation centers, you know. So, so sometimes they'll even lock, lock the gates also, you know, to yeah, what is yeah. this kind of computerization. I think, so in every phase of computerization automation, we, you call it the, the, the basic uh, computer automation, you call it robotics process automation, you call it artificial intelligence, led machine learning, deep learning. So every phases bring some apprehension in someone's mind, but at the same time, there are a set of people who are highly optimistic about these innovations and they are working, innovating further for adding the higher value to the, the country and the economy overall, yeah. right? So, so, so I think those positive hype need to be uh, always there and, and whatever negative, yeah, whatever yeah. negative mm -hmm. vibe is going, that need to be addressed, you know. Yeah. It, it should not happen that we should not listen to those people. Mm -hmm. We should listen to them, we should try to change them, we have to try to actually explain to them what is the benefit of a technology. If some recent challenges, uh, some, some genuine challenges are there, it need to be looked into. Yeah. yeah. Very truly said that uh, at some point of time internet was a disruption but today it is indispensable I would say. Uh, something uh, something which is being counted as one of the basic needs of uh, human life uh, so uh, uh, so let's talk about um, artificial intelligence how is it going to distribute itself through the geographies I mean are we going to see the north south divide here also because clearly if some new technology is coming and we see that uh, the global north uh, Americas and uh, we have uh, Europe they are way ahead of other part of the world uh, as far as the research and development is concerned okay and uh, it has happened in other technologies as well and it will uh, i'm sure going to happen in the artificial intelligence so how do you see that artificial intelligence uh, how uniform distribution uh, will it be throughout see the world? Uh, now the innovations are also controlled through some cultural pocket like there are prediction that even internet will get segregated uh, you know uh, the ex Google uh, uh, CEO was uh, men was mentioning that the China in next uh, uh, years the China will have a separate internet. They will disintegrate from the global internet. Mm -hmm. So there will be two 
two two uh, polar world in the internet world one is led by us another is led by china Define so it is quite possible that in ai also the the uh, uh, multipolar or, or bipolar uh, hub will emerge you know mm-hmm. quite possible you know uh, because uh, every country they are, they are they are they are leading in their own way like china has their own uh, way they have very aggressive target as far as the ai adoptions and promotions and innovations are concerned yeah. and uh, other countries are uh, not that much tight uh, tightly adopting the ai or developing the ai so i think china moving very fast in ai of course us is also uh, doing very fast in that but not as you mentioned not all country are doing fast so it's going to create the segments of segments of uh, 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 the uh, uh, it uh, maturity have, level we'll or AI, 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 ai maturity level some some will be very advanced some will be moderately advanced some will be not very mm-hmm. so so there there's a quite possibility the segments will be there even mm-hmm. in ai technology right so when we talk, when we are talking about this non uniform distribution of ai uh, we can also talk about the big players like we have big players like amazon google facebook i mean they are, they have got huge capital they have huge r and d infrastructure as compared to those uh, companies those organization compare small companies they don't uh, do, they don't have that much capital to uh, spend on the uh, ai so uh, do you think that uh, they're going to compete uh, or or what would be the effect on them or See, will it be a market uh, again the market would be controlled by those big players only uh in 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 see i said uh, you mentioned i have been the part of uh, force panel on ai mm-hmm. so there also this aspect came into discussion recently and uh, as per my view all their the startups are also going to be the important ingredients of the entire ai development ecosystem mm-hmm. a bigger player will not grow without a startup so startup will not grow without bigger players mm-hmm. so the old school of thought of ruin competition is going to be demolished sooner or later in in the collab and a, and a new form of collaborative model of economy will emerge mm-hmm. and and this ai is bringing that collaboration if you see today uh, uh, these three four large tech companies they are of course going to lead the uh, the technology direction as far as the ai platform Modelization is concerned, but but so at one way these all startups need to align with the platform. What whatever these four biggies are promoting, like you have like for IBM it's Watson, you know for uh, Microsoft Azure and uh, you have Google Google technology also there, mm-hmm. you know and you have Amazon. Okay, mm-hmm. so these these four players, so all these startups. many of them need to align certain per- features of their product productization gear to market strategy along with these bigger players but there are segments where these players will not be operating these bigger players will not be operating yeah. so those segments are open for the startups but yeah they have to collaborate with the bigger players so i see is nothing nothing like killing someone mm-hmm. or nothing like beating someone it's going to be more a collaborative ecosystem right let's 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 hope so that uh, as far as the ai is concerned the world be a more equal place so uh, let us come to the indian market right so what specific see indian market uh, indian market indian industry in industry shows a completely different uh, uh, you know landscape here we have 1.3 billion people lot of people are there i mean we don't have any uh, demographic deficient i would say i would say uh, and second thing is people are very low skill people okay so if you bring high technologies in india you know, how is it going to help indian uh, uh, labor market see the even the skill value chain you see since last century it, it remain evolving right mm-hmm. earlier you know the skills were divided like somebody is creating uh, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, earth, uh, 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 the pots from the mud you mm-hmm. know yeah. somebody creating the uh, you know the some kind of utility equipment you know mm-hmm. so but now those are now got more mechanized mm-hmm. now the 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 more mechanized and they are specialized mm-hmm. so the skill skill set is also getting transformed mm-hmm. and even in the modern skill set of it led skill set you will have the lower level of skill sets also mm-hmm. available 
we, we, we should be providing the job opportunity for the other you know say those like who were just graduate mm-hmm. or under I mean uh, or those who are just like uh, the, those who are matriculated mm-hmm. so there is potential for them also like mm-hmm. if you go in the suburbs of Bangalore you'll find many a small data services setups or companies startup companies over they are focusing on just very basic level of data uh, and uh, data taking services mm-hmm. 